So now we're going to start, um, you know, talking about Cardano, what Cardano has been doing. One, one of the things that I wanted to let you know before I start my, my, my analysis is that uh, Sarah did an amazing job early this morning. I mean, she saw uh, kind of like that, that Cardano was building kind of like this parallel channel, right? And right when Cardano, right before Cardano even started rebounding from basically the lower boundary of this channel, uh, Sarah basically kind of like created this article letting you know that that rebound was going to take place and that Cardano was basically going to potentially target $3.46, uh, right? Right now, whenever we look at Cardano's price action, uh, it does seem like that that TA from Sarah came on point, right? And and she was basically able to time that, that uh, kind of like, um, you know, rebound that we're currently seeing, right? I mean, from a technical perspective, uh, basically, we got a buy signal from the TD sequential indicator, right? Uh, as Cardano was kind of like hovering around that support level, which basically told you that the rebound was going to take place. Um, you know, I mean, kind of like the main resistance level that I was looking at, right, uh, for, for this um, kind of like rebound to actually take place was that 2.62 level, which has been broken, and now Cardano seems to be heading higher, right? On the way up, I believe that Cardano might find significant resistance around that uh, middle trend line of the of this um, of this basically rising parallel channel, right? Which currently sits basically uh, uh, kind of like the same, uh, you know, previous all-time high, which was kind of kind of like around three dollars, right? But if uh, Cardano is basically able to break above the middle trend line of this uh, parallel channel, right? I believe that it's just gonna rise towards the upper edge, which currently sits around 3.46, as Sarah said, or uh, kind of like around this, uh, this uh, Fibonacci retracement level, which is basically at 3.37%. Uh, I don't know why, why this line it has been drawn this way, but um, I'm gonna actually read redraw this um this price action here right and uh, exactly right so so yeah basically uh the the level that I was that i was talking about is basically that 78.6 i was waiting for uh, for a clean cut of that 78.6 before entering a trade and uh, thanks to to sarah's um to Sarah's TA that came this morning, I was able to, to basically buy Cardano at around 2.60, to be correct, uh, because I'm, I am expecting a, a, an upswing towards a new all-time high of potentially 346, or, or maybe like, you know, just, uh, just for it to be a stop and potentially do a double top right here around $3, right? So, so basically, yeah, I mean, based on, on what we're seeing here, it does seem like the next a potential target for Cardano is either $3 or 3.40. Um, right now, I mean, the, the only way that I could see kind of like this trend reverse, right, is if Cardano comes here, right, kind of like gets rejected by the previous all-time high, then drops towards the 78.6 and a potential, another close below the 78.6 level could be a, a, a bearish signal and could potentially lead to a downswing towards 2.36 or 2.20 basically, right? But on, on Tuesday, if you were paying attention to the, to the, to the video that, or, or the webinar that, that we did on Tuesday, we were looking at a, actually at a, at a downswing towards 2.60, right? And we even mentioned 2.50 before another upswing and that seems like it's exactly what is happening right so now i believe it's just a matter of waiting and uh, you know and kind of like realizing profits if you were able to kind of like long around the price point that we gave you on tuesday or the price point that kind of like sarah gave you earlier today right now you want to kind of like take profits uh, a little bit around three dollars right 2.96 2.90 or eventually basically take profits at a new all-time high of basically $3.40. But yeah, I'm actually leaning bullish on, on, on Cardano. This is one of the, uh, this is the only cryptocurrency right now that I actually have a, a trade on in the futures market, as well as in XRP, right? Because of that, uh, you know, rejection from the $1 support level. And I believe that there is potential for, for both of these coins to kind of like rise before we see a potential rejection or so forth. But, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's basically my, my take on, on Cardano. I don't know if you, Akash, are looking at something different. 
Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if it's different, but yeah, I was kind of monitoring uh, the slide as well. I believe that you're muted, Akash. Oh, I am? I'm not. Hello? Uh, hey, can you hear me now? Uh, do you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, awesome. Cool. So, uh, yeah, honestly, a uh, good shout out to uh, Shara, uh, Sarah. She really uh, outdid herself predicting this uh, move here. Right. So let me just talk about this descent uh, that happened here. Uh, it was to collect liquidity below uh, the resting below these lows here. You can probably look at it this way or you could look at it this way. Either way, we've collected liquidity down here. A lot of consolidation here. Uh, so you could uh, consider all of this as a demand zone, which is kind of uh, pushing the price higher now. Uh, especially this massive uh, and explosive move that you see here is because of the dip it had into the uh, the demand zone. So what I'm expecting now is, again, like I mentioned, uh, the clusters are present here. So uh, until and unless we get like a good close above this, uh, I am still kind of a little hesitant on Cardano because if you look at uh, the daily time frame, right, uh, it's almost close to uh, engulfing this candle. If we get a bullish engulfing candle here, yes, I can be a little uh, bullish. Uh, as Ali mentioned, uh, where it could even go to 3.46, which is Sarah's target. Right, but for, uh, if you look at this particular candle, which ignited this downtrend, uh, and if we, if we manage to close, uh, produce a daily close above 2.82, uh, that would be like uh, super bullish for me. And uh, I would expect uh, Cardano to retest the uh, all-time high, it comes around 2.98 and even uh, produce a new high, right? For me, those highs would be uh, the 141 FIB extension at 3.06 and the 161 extension at 3.36, right? So uh, my main uh, confirmations is uh, on a daily uh, on a daily time frame, it needs to be a bullish engulfing candle. Candle, and if it that candle produces a close above two point eight two, I would uh, turn like hundred percent bullish, and then I would expect a new all time high or at least like a retest of this high, and then eventually three point uh, three six. Right, that's uh, that's what I'm looking at with Cardano. Okay, interesting. So it, it does seem like we both are leaning uh, bullish on Cardano. Sarah was also leaning bullish on Cardano early today, and she was able to time that that rebound from basically the that that ascending um, trend line that you have drawn in there. Now mm -hmm. it does seem like Cardano is basically heading towards two eighty two or potentially three dollars right before it if it and if it manages to break above uh, that recent all-time high then we could potentially target a high of uh, i believe that your target is 3.1 to 3.4 dollars right uh sarah was, yeah. is targeting 3.46 and i'm targeting also 3.40 so it does seem like that could be a potential uh take profit zone for cardano before we see uh, another downswing towards that rising trend line, and uh, from then we'll have to like see whether prices have the the or, or Cardano has the the power it needs to continue rising, or or you know maybe just just dive a little a little bit lower, right? Or maybe towards that demand zone that you're pointing out in there between two point fifty five and two point forty, right? But uh, but yeah, Cardano looks very bullish right now. It does seem like it wants to make a new all time high. And now if you didn't buy when Sarah told you early on this morning or when we specified basically on our last video on Tuesday, uh, then it might be a little bit too late to buy to, uh, to get into this coin. But actually, maybe, yeah, uh, actually, 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 actually. Uh, so uh, you know how Bitcoin kind of uh, had this similar pattern and like it held up every time it touched this. Uh, there's a possibility that if we see like a crash uh, uh, in Bitcoin, uh, to probably 44k, uh, I believe like this uh, demand zone uh, lower lower limit at 2.40 could be invalidated, right? So if like in an extremely bearish case, uh, uh, as explained in the Bitcoin uh, technical analysis video, if Bitcoin falls to 44k, it would kind of cause the the altcoins to crumble as well. And in that case, if Cardano produces a close below this, uh, there's a fair value gap that is present here, 
uh, it could uh, it could honestly push Cardano down to this level here. Right, uh, so th there is this uh, extremely low probability scenario which could come into uh, which could yeah come into play if Cardano breaks below the two point four zero level. So just keep an eye out. You might just get another chance to get it on Cardano. Indeed, indeed. So and yeah, and, and of course, is if you're if you haven't done so, I think it's, it's about time that you start subscribing to this channel, right? Because we're literally just ta perfectly timing the price action of all of these cryptocurrencies. I'm actually a little bit impressed, right? I have been actually trading on what we have been talking about over the past uh, few couple of months since we started like kind of like bringing you these, these webinars. And, and I believe that you could also be taking, you know, advantage of what we're basically talking about here because this analysis is on point. So make sure to subscribe and, uh, you know, uh, tune in for our next, uh, you know, webinar on Tuesday next week.